while we had several excellent candidates to choose from for our next president, in the end, one stood out above the others. He brings with him considerable experience and success in strategic planning, student recruitment and retention, community involvement, classroom teaching, and fundraising, just to name a few. When speaking to others about him as part of our uh, due diligence process, there were two consistent themes that came through from every person we talked to. Number one, that he is authentic. What you see and what you hear from him, you get. And number two, he's a servant leader. It is not about him, it's about the organization. My own observation is that he is a highly competent, can-do person with a big dose of humility blended in. This is exactly what we were seeking in our next president, and I'm pleased to say we found him. It's my pleasure to introduce the next president of Northwest Missouri State, effective June 1, Dr. Lance Tatum. Thank you, Regent Moore, for that very kind introduction. I have great appreciation for the thoughtful way that you and the Presidential Search Committee approach the process of choosing a new leader for this university. I can tell you it's a positive sign when you leave an interview wanting the job more than you did when you arrived. And that was certainly true for Jill and I in our visit to Maryville. I could not be more grateful to all the members of the Board of Regents and the Northwest University community for trusting me with the profound responsibility of leading this great university. And I am truly humbled and honored for this opportunity. Anyone who has led a major, held a major leadership role knows the importance of having a strong family support system. And in my case, that starts with my wife, Jill, an outstanding educator in her own right and who is my greatest supporter and most constructive sounding board, and our two children, Thad, who is a senior at Auburn University who plans to pursue his graduate degree in the fall in economics after he graduates, and our daughter Zoe, who is a sophomore also at Auburn, who is pursuing a career in hospitality event management and a life in ministry. We are excited about the opportunity for them to come to Maryville and to meet you and you to meet them. There are also others, others who may not know the transformative impact that they've had on my life. Individuals like Barbara Hicks, my 10th grade English teacher, who saw in me leadership potential and nurtured me through my high school days. Don Jeffrey, who served as my advisor and mentor during my undergraduate years and was the driving influence that pushed me to pursue my graduate degrees. And Jack Hawkins. Chancellor Hawkins has been a constant force in my professional development. His support and trust has given me increasingly greater leadership opportunities and I believe with all my heart that led to this moment today. And finally to my parents who loved and supported my dreams throughout their lives. I want to thank all of them for pouring into my life. I began my career in administration because I wanted to have a greater impact and a broader influence on students much like the mentors I mentioned who impacted and influenced my life. Over my career and at each administrative stop, I've been able to widen my influence and deepen my impact on the lives of those around me. And with an understanding, the team at Troy has been a part of the ability to do that great work. This work was accomplished through an inclusive and transparent process with faculty, students, staff, and colleagues. I want to approach my work at Northwest in the same manner, by getting to know this university and the individuals who support the mission and the work. My goal is to build upon the solid foundation that exists here at Northwest. I have loved my life at Troy. I've had lots of reasons to stay and little push to leave, which tells you the strength of the pull that Jill and I felt drawing us to Northwest. It was overwhelming to hear how the people loved this university and the pride that they showed in being part of it. For someone who is drawn to opportunities to serve others and to help individuals succeed, 
it was impossible to resist the invitation to join this great university. In short, I cannot imagine a greater privilege than helping individuals of Northwest improve the lives of the people of this great state. Thank you again for your support. Jill and I are excited about our arrival in Maryville in June, and go Bearcats. Thank you. Thank you.